Hello everyone! I'm back! So I wanted to give an energy update because the energies are pretty self-explanatory, but um, a lot of us, we get too involved with life and sometimes, you know, we're feeling or sensing certain things within our bodies or, you know, um, maybe we're just getting it's almost like we're on a hamster wheel. So we're basically just going in circles and going in circles and like we keep, you know, like, you know, we're too much in our heads basically, just to sum it up. And then we kind of wonder why, right? And then we'll have like, we'll bump into scenarios or events that might like just happen to fall, you know, um, on our lap and it kind of like disappoints us or it like throws us off. So I thought maybe I'd come up here and um, kind of explain an, uh, the updated energies right now as I, I feel it and I see it and actually going through it as well. So you're not alone. We're going through a process right now where the universe is really highlighting the BS in people, places and things in and around us, okay? So meaning we need to self-correct um, if we are getting triggered, are the people around us triggered or are we triggered or, you know, vice versa or everything involved or included. And so the reason why I share this is because, um, it's important to observe every interaction you have and what the universe is showing you or displaying to you. Again, the mirror or the, the universe acts as a mirror. So they always reveal, um, you know, our future or our or the energies that we are currently in. So if it's karmic, you'll see a lot of discord, a lot of disappointments, arguments, you know, feeling triggered, um, just not feeling good. And so then you know you need to step back, do a uh, self-discipline. So find a balance within your daily tasks. And um, again, we have to kind of balance out our 3D and 5D realms, meaning bringing heaven on earth, if you will. Um, and that's really surrendering the physical self of you know, being too much in the ego state, um, which means too much in the, in the head space, right? And not in the heart space. So making sure that we are intact with our heart space is a must at this time. And if we are too much in the head, then yes, we do need to do maybe a clearing, um, an energetic clearing, cleansing of the home space, workspace, whatever it may be, home space. Um, especially with our children, anyone within the family, friends, whomever we interact with, we need to really observe uh, the situations that are being presented to us, okay, on a daily basis. So right now, as I'm saying, we're all working through our karma, and that's on a global scale, if you can see. A lot of Mm, lies coming to truth, deceit coming to truth. Okay, so that could be again, per on a personal level. So make sure that you really observe your environment and the people to whom you are interacting with, you're going to find a lot of people, places and things fall away. Changes are a must and the universe will always conspire like for you. So if anything like an illness shows up, go within. Okay, there's a there's a blockage there, uh, most likely through the emotions and being in the, in the headspace too much. So surrender that up and work through it. It just means you need to go within and self-correct. Okay, um, another thing too is that yes, um, you're going to find um, just people <laughs> coming to you with deceit, saying one thing and meaning another. Uh, uh, some some people will call it two-faced. They'll be nice to you up front, but behind your back, they'll gossip and know that's karmic, okay? That's all part of, you know, creating more karma, karma for yourself. If you do happen to fall uh, in this place of gossip behind someone's back or not supporting them and things like that, just being in the lower frequencies, um, know that they're 
you are creating you know karma for yourself and right now it's probably best to just focus on yourself stay focused and in bettering yourself because that will help the planet as a whole and as a collective and what else did i want to mention um yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. So hopefully <laughs> this has helped you. I just needed to get off my chest because I don't want people to be um, suffering um, in their own thoughts and on this hamster wheel. So get off it and catch it, nip it in the butt and you know, create healthy boundaries and uh, really teach others how to treat you. That's a huge thing, especially if you're impasse uh, or people pleasers, uh, 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 uh. if it depletes your soul, then, you know, set boundaries. Um, and again, self-discipline, create a balance to where you're filling your own cup first, and then going how, you know, going about in doing or being of service. That's huge as an earth angel that you are. So really see the true potential within yourself. Know that you're already whole and complete. You just have to make sure you feel it and, uh, and that's through health, wealth and prosperity, okay? Creating uh, and attracting your tribe and all of everything that your soul desires, okay? Um, yeah, a must, okay? So hopefully this has helped you. Um, if I need to jump on again, I will. I will definitely let you know um, if there's anything um, energetic wise that you need to be aware of. Don't forget to subscribe, share with some friends and yeah, not everything will be about fertility. Um, if anything is spiritual and a lifestyle that we should, um, incorporate, you know, the mindfulness of, of, um, our decision-making moving forward. So I, hopefully this has helped you. Um, I love you and know that you're not alone. Okay. And it's okay to feel as if, you know, you need to reach out and to be vulnerable. Uh, vulnerability is actually um, a great strength that we could have moving forward. Okay. All right. Until next time, take care. Peace. Okay. I almost bye -bye. forgot to mention. Okay. Um, another download that came through was that we need to let go of the old versions of ourselves. Um, so you may find some karmic relationships in the past want to like they'll show up out of nowhere out of the blue and catch you off guard um don't fall for it because you have to allow the old version of you go because we evolved so much over the weeks months well years really since the pandemic we've changed so much and so this is the time where we need to allow the old versions of us go okay that means karmic friendships who used to know you back in the day you did this you did that whatever but you don't do it today because again you've evolved to a better person a better person for the universe right now uh, what they see you as and so a lot of purging has happened for many of us and so as we create these healthy barriers right and being true and authentic to ourselves um, allows others to do the same, right? So yes, let go of old version of you and friendships that never really served your highest good in the first place, okay? All right, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye, peace.